morning guys it is Sunday morning it's actually almost 11 I think it's like 10 40 or something we are just having kind of a chill pajama day it's gonna be a rainy day right it's gloomy and Nana and Papa left they went to Portland I think so it's just us doing chores and laundry and having dirty hair oh thank you yeah but I thought it would be fun to try out this new foundation I got from Ulta. Actually, they had a buy one, get one half off, so I got foundation, which I needed, because I'm getting whiter and whiter as it becomes winter. And I got a brow tint, which I've never tried, so we're going to try both of those right now, and I'll tell you what I think. It is the Ulta Demi Matte Foundation in Classic Ivory. Oil-free, fragrance-free, paraben-free, and it has SPF 20. Hopefully you can see that. Oh, okay. This is weird. Seems thicker than most of the foundation that I usually use. That's my first impression. The coverage is pretty decent because I have like, I don't know, my skin is not even. Like it gets red on my nose, it gets red under my nose, I have dark circles. Um, it's kind of, kind of, I don't know, I don't have breakouts but it's just uneven skin. It's being a brat, but yeah, it does cover up pretty well. Um, it is kind of yellow compared to my skin, but a lot of my foundations are like orange compared to my skin. So. It's decent, that's my feelings on this. I'm just gonna finish up the rest of my face and then I'll tell you about the brows. This is my normal everyday, I just wanna look like a human who gets decent sleep kind of look. And I used to use NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat. I still have a little bit left of this. And it's pretty much on par with the one I just got from Ulta, so I don't really know which I prefer. And NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. I'm still gonna use a little brush in this just to brush my eyebrow hairs up. But I do not have like flaky eyebrows. Some people have just a gift of doing their eyebrows or they have a lot more hair to work with or something. I just want mine to look decent. And I'm about to try Ulta Beauty Brow Tint in Medium. Like it is. Okay. Well, I don't need this. I don't need crackers. Oh. No. I'm scared that there's like a lot of product on here. Okay. Gentle. You see, does it? Most of my, like, I don't know. Most of where I need the product is on the side because I have like fullness in here. But I do not have as much fullness on the outside. Ronan is very clingy, and he's crying right now, so I apologize, but I gave him a cracker. I was just trying to brush out these brows a little to make it a little bit of a softer look. Um, I zoomed in a little, hopefully you can see. I don't know if I'm just not good at applying this, because I, like, it is, a, I don't want to say a paste, but it's not like an eyebrow pencil or powder, so you have to be very gentle, I think, with it. You'll have to tell me what you think in the comments down below. That is enough makeup talk for now, and we will start our day. I did want to take a second to mention that I made this butternut squash and sage risotto last night, which was delicious with broccoli, and I will link it down below in case anyone wants to make it. You can easily make it um, vegan if you do vegan parm. You'll notice that the link is like a BBC Good Eats thing, so it is British, and you'll have to convert um, the measurements if you're American, because it'll be like liters and stuff instead of cups or like liquid cups and tablespoons. And these we got last night. This is going to be one of Liv's mm -hmm. Christmas presents that we're bringing to her. Say and pray Bible. It's super cute. And then this is a gift kind of for Ronan and me because I'm going to use it in the future. I got Stu's 30% off and I got the Grim Fairy Tales. Um, obviously he's too young now, but I'm going to read them. And then when he's older, we can do scary bedtime. Can you sing about the sun for me? He's saying sun, sun. Mr. Golden Sun. <laughs> yes, thank you. Is it going to hide behind the tree? Tree. 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 Little man is already playing with the box I wanted to show you guys. I'm sure you saw in the title. Today's video is super exciting for me because I get to give back to you guys and do a little giveaway. So I want to show you guys. I'm sure you might have seen on YouTube or Instagram before. It looks like Jord, but it's actually pronounced Yod. Yod Luxury Wooden Watches. They're not paying me any money to show you this watch. They did send it for free, however. So this is Yod's watch. It comes like this in this fancy little box, wooden. And then it has little magnets that keep it closed. And then this is the watch that I chose. Very pretty. This is how it comes on like a little pillow and it has this little stick that says Yod Preserve 100% Natural Finishing Oil and this little towel which you can clean it with. This watch that I chose is called the Cassia, if you can see it down there, Cassia series. I chose the walnut color wood and the background, the face of it is rose. Oh nice, and it looks like they give you some extra pieces in case you need to fix it. Isn't it so pretty though? And I've never had a really nice watch. These are luxury watches so I'm very excited. But I should probably unclip this cute little toggle. There we go. And here we go. Clip it. Yay! 
it fits perfectly. They measured me, I think it was like 14 centimeters for my wrist. And it started to rain outside, which I'm actually really excited about. But I'm also just so excited about this watch. <laughs> and I know you're probably like, why is she so excited about a watch? But I've never owned a fancy watch. I've only ever had one other watch and it was like in high school, probably $3 plastic. Had the transformers on it and you could change the little transformer characters. So it was probably meant for children, but I really liked it. Not as much as I like this one, I can say that for sure. And they have a lot of different styles, so I will link them down below. Go check them out. Um, this one is like pretty big as far as the face goes. They have more delicate ones. They size it right to you. And the wood, this one's walnut, as I said, but they do have like warmer color, lighter color ones. They also have black ones. I saw one, it was black, and then the face was black. So it was really masculine, really cool, and I kind of, kind of digged it. So go look at it, check it out, because... Ronan, do you want to tell them why? We're doing a giveaway for $180 towards a Yode watch. $180 bucks and a holiday promo code. It's a discount. There's a sale. So definitely go check that out. And let me know if you want to enter and win. I don't know why you wouldn't. Guess what time it is. Ha ha ha. Get it? It's time to take off this watch because it's beautiful. And I don't want to ruin it when we give the dog a bath. It took me about 30 minutes to find the special shampoo and conditioner. Yes, there's a dog. It's like oatmeal conditioner and special shampoo for itch relief because they have very sensitive skin. Step two was lots of dog towels. Check. Step three, brushes. Check. Step four, a doggy treat for after. Step five is to contain your child. I'm doing so with apples. Step six, you need the dirty doggo. That's you. Now comes the actual bath part. So you have to take the collar off. And I haven't given a dog a bath in years, so... We'll see how this goes. Ooh. Up. Good boy. Yeah, just climb in. Thank you. Nice and warm. Here's the shampoo. Boy. Okay. Um, I just rinsed him, and if you can tell from the water, he was quite dirty. Are you Ronan is very upset now. Why are you so upset about this? He does not like that Wrigley is wet for some reason, but we are going to spray him with his conditioner and brush him out and I will not bore you with that. First I'm gonna give him part of his treat. Yay! I can see a face now. He's all fluffy. I'm not saying I'm a good dog groomer, but I did a pretty good job. His beard just needs a little bit more um, grooming, which my mom can help, so. Yay! You're all done. You are a very good boy. Now you're all clean and I can actually pet you. He's so soft and fluffy. Before, like, I hate the feeling of a greasy dog, so. You good boy. It's time for vitamins now. You want a gummy? Can you say star? Okay. Moon? Moon. Moon. Good job. Um. Now say sheep. 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 Say it again. Sheep. Sheep. <laughs> sheep. We're practicing. We'll practice that one. My mom, which is Ronan's Nana, got this for him last night for a dollar. And I think the cooler last night made the pages a little bit damp, so they're a little bit wrinkly. But it's like a cute ABC book with a bunny. L is for leaking all over the floor. M is for mess soon mopped up. I don't know. So I'm going to read this to him. Just fed Ronan some cottage cheese. And now I'm showing him a video. This is from one year ago. Guys, Facebook suggested it to me. Look how little... He didn't have any hair. He has so much more hair now. Can mama have a kiss? Also, I forgot and I got an email reminding me that I need to swab my cheeks and send in my DNA so that I can be on the list for if someone needs a bone marrow transplant. So I'm going to do that with you guys. He's really enjoying his milk in his little police outfit. But yeah, so basically this one has the two swabs. I need to swab each side of my cheek separately and then put it in here. And then I take... What? I take one of these barcodes and I put it on here and then I take another barcode and I put it on the prepaid envelope and I send it in. Let's do this. La 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 la. Okay. Number one. I'm going to set this on the counter on the plastic and just let it dry. I think you need spit but you also need cheek salve but I feel like my mouth is really dry now so. Okay. Da -da -da. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> uh oh. Enough for that cheek so now. They both have to dry for five minutes and then I'm gonna send them on their way. Trying to set these curls, they're kind of fluffy right now. 
But yeah, how cool it would be if I could save someone's life. It's dancing time. Where's Mama? is a little story first. So my best friend, one of my best friends, Alex, was texting me like last week saying she wanted to break up with her boyfriend because he's he's like super handsome and super sweet, but he's starting to get very possessive and like wanting to know where she is all the time, wanting to know who she's with all the time, wanting to look at her phone all the time. Like he's just not being trusting. So I was like, that's a shame because I like him. I do like him. But I was like, you know, think it over. So then yesterday when I was working, she texted me again and was like, I think I'm really going to do it today because, like, it's getting worse. It's not getting better. Like, he's not working on it. So then she texted me even later than that and said that when she broke up with him, he punched a wall and was pretty sure that he broke his hand. Later, again, she updated me that he did indeed break his hand in three places. Yeah, three. I thought I put it four. Three places and was going to need... $30,000 worth of surgery in his hand now. So, my question of the day is, has anything like that ever happened to you? Because that is just, to me, I was like, I'm not prepared for this story. Like, this is just so juicy. And I feel so bad, because not her fault. Like, normal people should not react that way. They shouldn't be violent. So, if anything, it just solidified her decision was a good decision, in my mind. But have you ever broken up with someone and had it just go terribly wrong? Baby chameleon. He's gonna stick out his tongue. Can you stick out? Yeah, he always does that when he sees this page. What's that? Bear. What does the bear say? <laughs> Never gets old. What does the baby owl say? <coughs> what does? What does the cat say? Meow. <coughs> cat. Yes. What are we gonna eat for dinner once you're asleep? I love stew. Wow. Make sure you're touching me. Yeah, very gentle. Very gentle. Mama's gonna pet it. It's cold. Are you a red little lobster on the ground? Good night, guys. Remember to enter the giveaway. Bye. He loves hugging Zoe's butt.